Mr. Kime, take hold of the ribbons, please. These ribbons are the only thing that tie us, the living, to Miss Lyra, the deceased. Miss Lyra must now begin her new journey. Our final duty is to sever our ties with her in the form of these ribbons. Please watch Mac. He shall give us the courage to sever these ties. That is his role. You shall cut your ties with Miss Lyra while your undying love for her remains in your hearts. You said that even if we have to cut our ties, we still have our spiritual bonds, right? Yes, those bonds are eternal. Now, let us send Miss Liram off. Many ribbons from Miss Liram have been passed to her father. When all of them have been severed, Miss Liram shall begin her journey out into love and motion. Mac, with the lit torch you carry, trace the movements of the wands the attendees are waving. Those movements will convey the attendees' wishes and parting words to your mother. If you perform a move incorrectly, the attendees' good wishes will not be conveyed. If that happens, try again to match the movements of the attendees. When you correctly trace the movements with your flame, the attendees' torches will light up. Then the attendees will sever the ribbons with their flames to represent their own connections and to make their unseen bonds eternal. When all of the ribbons are severed, Miss Lyra will start her journey. Are you ready, Mac? It is time, everyone. Let us sever our physical ties with Miss Lyra. Okay, I, I do gotta say this about uh, the torch ceremony here. Um, sometimes it seems like we're doing it correctly, um, and it'll just be considered not to be. Um, sometimes uh, we'll be like waiting there for like two or three seconds and uh, it just won't light the other person's torches. Um, sometimes we can be there for like a second and it'll light uh, their torch. To get it to move a little further, um, either up or down or whatever, um, use the left analog stick, um, to move it over to where you, uh, want it to be at first, um, use either the, uh, X, Y, A, B buttons, so.
See, why even bother, uh, even having us do this in the first place, uh, if everybody is just gonna decide to move their tours wherever the heck they want.
snack. I thought you would have cried more. You too. You know, you haven't cried since the funeral began. It's so strange. I don't know why I can't cry. You seem so calm. Kayun. Was your mother happy? She was happy. She had lots of friends. And dad was a really great person. Even the queen cared about her and helped her out a lot. I'm sure she must have been happy. <laughs> she always missed her time. <laughs> and grandma. <laughs> You don't cry anymore, do you, Kaim? You're strong, Kaim. I heard from Mom that you are immortal and invincible. It's amazing. Not dying. It's really great. Not necessarily. Why not? It means I see so many people that I care for pass on, like your mother. You've seen it. A lot? Yeah. I have to lose count. That's why you got so strong. But... It must hurt. It does. I want to grow up to be strong like you, Kaim. Even if it hurts. Even if it's tough. I won't cry. I'm gonna be strong. Right. <gasps> Look! Check it out! I'm back to life. I just knew it! I just knew Mom heard our wish! Do you still believe stuff like that? Don't you think Mom would have done this? It's gotta be because of her the flowers are better. Mom is close, and she hears what we say. Must mean she's with us, Cook. That's impossible. Hey, Kai, can't you get your memory back instantly? I mean, that would save a lot of time. Oh, you are so stupid, Jansen. Are you for real? You don't understand. Kaim! I care, too. You don't say. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Look at this. Mac went on again, and, and... Here, read it. I'm going to meet Mom in the Crimson Forest. I want to show her these flowers. Crimson Forest? Ah, kids. <laughs> It's supposed to be a place where you go to meet the souls of the dead. But the Queen has forbidden anyone to go in there. Oh, but he went anyway, huh? That little... Oh. I'm gonna go look for him. Wait, Cook. <laughs> Wait. It's too dangerous. I'll go with you. We'll go too. What? We? No. Are you saying we? As in me? Yeah, I did. Look it. You know, the queen says don't go in the forest. I think she's very wise. I don't think we should go to the forest. I'm gonna stay here and support the queen. Would you quit whining? No. Save me, oh my queen! Shut up and get moving. Oh, hey. Let's go. Yeah, I am so not rested. Gee, another hike. Oh boy. 